What's up guys, I'm here. welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So, I am back to my settlement because One more. And only I because you all have such good figured days. out now, this, this one that there is actually... That we can actually speak to Radvi and give us the the mission to form an alliance with East Anglia, so we can go and do that. Good day, Eivor. So we go Welcome here. Back. You look well traveled and rugged. I want to speak to her. Word yeah. of our growing settlement has reached outside ears, so have a look around. You may see a few new faces. I want to see the Alliance map. So we basically have done those two and we have unlocked those three. But we will do the East Anglia Those one. Dane invaders, they came from East Anglia, is that right? Yes, Dane invaders who serve a man called Ruid. He seems to be sowing discord among Saxons and friendly Danes alike. Years ago, the sons of Ragnar hoped to pacify the land. They appointed a steward named Finnir to find a suitable Saxon king. But the kingdom has fallen into ruins since, with no king and violent raiders ravaging what little peace remains. I suggest you make for East Anglia and find out what their steward is doing wrong. I will make the trip east then. Speak to this Finnir myself. A good plan. Be careful out there. I did. Okay, nice. So where is this quest? Oh! Right next to the synchronization point. That's perfect. And it's actually the synchronization point that is close to the other things that we want to do, so... That is extremely perfect. Let's go. So... During the... The period from the last episode and this one I, w I actually did some things I found the the clue that was on River X that I hadn't found it wasn't anything too important but I basically completed uh, River X with that and I want one more crew clue from the other river to see where is the armor pieces and also another thing when I returned to my settlement, there was a kid inside the longhouse and I speak to him and he actually gave us a mission. It wasn't anything too crazy, it was just, what's that? Here! Yeah, this way! Oh, I'll follow you then! No, I don't want him to follow me, whatever. So basically, it's this way. A few tasks Redder needs handled came in today. We're always looking for help, so come back anytime. Okay, um, basically, this kid wanted us to save a wolf, and that was it. We saved the wolf and we returned to Norwich. the suffering hard times, I see to the settlement. Uh, basically this wolf became our friend and now with this mission it, it unlocked me an ability, this one, which is basically we can use this wolf to attack, we can say to this wolf to attack our enemy. I put it here. It might be my most useful ranged ability because I don't really use bows so this one can be pretty helpful, I think. Now let's speak to this Dane Stewart. Oh, he's sleeping. What? what? What's happening? Been here? No, not unless Hafton sent you. I sent myself. I want to speak with Finnir, 
the steward who should be working to put a king on that throne. Oh, you're in luck then, for I have found the man already. I'm only waiting on him to get married. Which man? Oh, you know, stranger, you interrupted a beautiful dream. I was sailing through Helheim, drifting on a ship of fire. Dreams of death often run ahead of the real thing. Oh, <laughs> wouldn't that be a burden off my shoulders? What business have you with the backwater king, anyway? Danes from here attack my clan. I want to know why, and how to make sure it never happens again. Ah, that would be Ruid's clan. They killed the last man I put here, Adelstan. I suspect they'll do the same to our next monarch. A Dane, who can't keep the Danes in line? Not much of a steward, are you? If I knew how, I'd have rid our lands of them long ago. Ruid's clan plagues us all, Dane and Saxon alike. You are the sorriest soldier I've met in this country. Kick your king in the ass and fight back. He needs more than a kicking. He's got nothing he should have to win this fight. No courage, no army, no charisma. If he wants to live longer than a season, he'll need the backing of his bride's family, which he hasn't. They loathe the maggot. Who is he, your king maggot? Ah, uh, Oswald of Elmenham, who was King Edmund's council before the invasions. And like it or not, he's the last Saxon noble with any sway. Why not crown a Dane instead? Half done, Jarl, made it clear. He wants a Saxon king married to a Dane for a greater show of unity. But Oswald's not the sort of man you'd chase into battle with a grin. He's soft, and the settled Danes don't trust him. Where is he now? I'll get the measure of him, see what I can do. <sighs> you just missed him. He's headed for Elmenham just now, pleading once again for peace. If you go by the north gates and along the road, you may catch him. So we are chasing a coward. Basically. What happened to this breach? right here. Let me... What do you see? They rushed in like wolves, killing and burning as they went! I built myself a home here. Ruid's clan attacked us as well. Oh, how nice to have a home to speak of, man. Mine was burnt to the ground years ago. And by whom, I wonder? Please, all of you, be we Dane or Saxon, we all want the same peace. With land to till and home to keep. Without fear of Ruid's violence. Till they break the peace with another bleeding raid. Nonsense. Their homes are here now. Same as ours, our futures run together, not apart. So what are these Danes attacking us, eh? What will you do about them? When I'm king... <laughs> <laughs> when I am your king, I'll set things right. You will be king when I am a flying troll. I'm Eivor of the Raven Clan. Are you Oswald? I am. You're not here to kill me, are you? I'm not in the habit of killing kings, but I do like meeting them. I am Oswald, yes, for as long as I can hold out. So, what happened here, Oswald? A clan, led by a Dane called Ruid, attacked this morning. They've been sacking farms and hamlets across East Anglia for some time now, growing more brazen by the day. Do they know this is Halfton's land? They must. They just don't care. Their chaos has touched my home as well, and I'm here to see that it doesn't happen again. Lately, I've come to learn that you are the hook that all hopes hang upon. 
As king, you could unite all the Saxons and friendly Danes. A minor weight to bear, isn't it? Who else, if not a king, should bear it? Travel with me, Eivor. We can discuss my tenuous future on the road home. What begs your attention in Elmenham? Wedding preparations. Elmam is on guard as we ready my marriage to the Dane woman Valdis. She's a cousin of Hafton's. Good. A well-matched marriage can forge a strong alliance. <laughs> what's the holdup? The holdup? I don't yet have permission to marry Valdis. Her brothers don't approve of me. going oh no we are going back we're going here Ellen home okay well. slow down something is not quite right here hold the smoke ahead that's beatley it could be the same men who attacked at the walls of Norwich stay here I'll have a look Wait, where is the small? Oh, okay. I see now. Best not to draw attention here. Of course, I'll draw attention. I what do you mean? Do you know who I am? I'm Abel the Wolf Kiss, man. Slow this imp down! Okay, there's a guy up on the roof. Get back here! And he jumped down as soon as I got up. Whatever. Guy, I think this archer here. You're mine. That should be the last of these big faced cards. Oswald will be relieved to know of this. He will probably be crying because we killed some men. Ruid's clan, they left none alive. God rest their souls. I'm needed at home. ...to make yet another fruitless attempt to impress my betrothed family. Show more grit than you're showing me now, and they may start to like you. Yes, sorry, I'm just shaken. If you joined us at dinner, that might ease their minds a touch. Think about it. My doors are open to you. I'd be happy to join you. Tell me when and where. Wonderful. Visit us in Elmham whenever you have time. It's worse here than I feared. I mean, I have to tell him at some point that it should be harsher. Go! But I thought that it would be better to do it in the dinner. Sure. We would go on the dinner either way, so... Healthy scene in town. This Oswald has done well for himself. Lords, ladies, this is a day of peace and fraternity. I asked you here to Elmenham to offer my thanks and extend my generosity. Finir, our steward. To our guests of honor, Brothir and Brode, and to my lovely bride to be, Valdis. You get to plow our sister because Halfton commands it. 
But you won't drag us into bed with you, you hear? Uh, Broder, that the is... last Saxon king we backed wasn't half as mushy as you, and we lost 150 men protecting his maggoty ass. Bro, dear. If you're going to be rude, then I must ask you to leave. This is my home, and won't be insulted here. <laughs> Is that why you've come? To back this thane who smells of goat shit and cheap pebbles? <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say something? Do I bore you, Wolfkist? I'm here to protect my clan. If that means helping your king secure his throne, well, so be it. <laughs> You'd be safer crowning the throne. It's made of less wood than, uh, this one. It'd all be safer if you had the stones to stand up to Ruid's clan. Between the pair of you, I can't see a single nugget. You watch your tongue, wolf kiss, or you'll find it freed of your face! So easily wounded by words. Imagine the ruin my axe would inflict on your flaccid ego. My flaccid what? Please stop this! You heard me? That's it! Us oh, I wasn't Limp, expecting that. Weak, soft. Nice, Abel. I like the. That was Ridiculous. very nice. Absurd. I would have done the same. These guys seem a little bit. They seem like they are a little bit idiots. Bygone days. <laughs> to be so full of vigor again. <laughs> this is not how we settle disputes in East Anglia. <laughs> this king has to stop speaking. Brother, really. stop this or I'll have both your asses. <laughs> <laughs> I probably should focus on one of them. So I think this brother guy is down. I probably should focus on the other guy. That's enough fun for tonight. If that's all you've got, it's little wonder East Anglia is in the state it is. <sighs> you are weak, sheep herder. Your Norse friend here can't change that. We are better off without a king. Well, that's me, Don. I think I prefer dream nonsense to these alehouse brawls. What a waste of time and good mead. These brothers will never back me in my claim. This dance is just beginning, Oswald. Get some rest. You'll need your energy. And uh, will I see you in the morning? We have much to discuss, I think. I will find a place to lay my head. And Eivor, if you can help me right this situation, you'll have a strong alliance with East Anglia. That much, I promise. Okay, we are awake. Seems Oswald has set out for the day. I should have a word with him. Where is he though? Wait, we have some skill points, okay. Let me do this first. Where are we? Here, okay. Stun. And mildew damage, perfect. Now, okay, we have to find him. Go. Clear the 
Rise in the longhouse and wake my brothers with the coldest water. Okay, Ah, good morning. Up bright and early. You can labor like a thrall, but you're no good with feasts. Not a good start for a king. No, indeed. I find a solitary comfort in my menial labors. Not something a king should admit to, I suppose. The brothers shamed you at dinner. It's your duty to answer their insults. Don't let the matter lay unresolved. Oh, it was a petty row with henhouse wolves. I'd sooner answer the move a cow than worry about their insults. I have a wedding to plan and a kingdom to save. I haven't time to suffer fools. They betrayed your hospitality, Oswald. Where I'm from. That's a grave insult. Well, well. Here's the mud-soaked Saxon who's been taxing my patience. Ah, uh, Stuart Finnair. I know I failed to impress at dinner yesterday eve, but fear not. The Danes will come around in time. You stay claim to the throne, you dazed dog with no bone. If Lord Halfdown were here, he'd squeeze ale from a stone. Yelling, Finner, my dranger, stick this cur in the ground. All mewling and spitting, here's Finnir the hound. He has bark, but no bite. Just a puppy I've found. <laughs> what just happened? That is flighting, Oswald. Using rhyme and rhythm to lay a man flat. Try it. Match his verse. There's no man you can lead. You dunce of the thirds. Um, a glutton you are. Just stop eating your words. Not bad. Not bad. He's got the wit of a boar. So when he insults you, make him feel stupid. When I'm done with you, cur, you'll be raven flock food. But your brain's soaked in mead and your... Head's made of wood. Wood! Heads made of wood! He's an ugly puss, so when he brags, hit him back with something about his looks. I hail from the north, where the winters are season. But you're foul. You're a blister. You're a... a... Plague-ridden lesion. <laughs> oh, yes, that's very good. Plague-ridden lesion. Okay. Under all that tough posturing is a sniveling boy, so dig deep. When he brags, take a jab at his manhood. I've sailed squalls and north winds. You? Not even a breeze. But the winds that you sail... Blow between both your knees. Blow between both your... Oh, you mean farting. <laughs> Oswald, my boy, you're useless without your raven. This one's wrong for the throne. He's too soft and too tame. Okay, guys, so... I had a problem with the footage again. You... I noticed it, so you didn't miss a lot, a lot, but I'll tell you what you missed. We basically had a face fight with uh, Edmund, King Edmund, and we kind of awakened his fighting spirit, and then he actually wanted to attack the Danes. And we went to their their fort, I guess it was. And during the attack, uh, King Edmund challenged the King Ruid, or King Ruid, not King Ruid, the the leader of the Danes, Ruid, basically challenged Edmund to a fist fight, and they fought. And uh, Ruid was winning, and he was holding Edmund. Uh, uh, in front of a cliff and but at the last minute Edmund beat him and he dragged him with him down and 
they both fell off. So we didn't find any bodies, but I think they are both dead, probably. And now basically the next mission is to return back to Northwick to see what are we going to do next. But before that, I was kind of exploring and I saw this thing and I think it's a legendary beast. So I think it's the time to go and fight it. Okay, right here. I think <coughs> this is a it seems like a legendary beast. I think oh yeah. Black shot. Well, looks like a a wild dog, I guess. say that we hadn't lost any health because he's not really attacking but I text it. Animal defeated. So the black sack is gone. Okay, nice. It wasn't really difficult. Oh, I got his head. I'll probably have to give that back in my settlement to those guys that gather the 
the trophies from the legendary beats. So I think we have this thing right next to us. I think it's a normal piece. We will see that. Is there an entrance somewhere? Or is it a thing that we have to come back later again? Hey! No mercy! <laughs> Was there any doors I
says don't wave those torches around unless you want to turn the face of the dead. Okay, let me see if there is anything behind this. No? Stays up here. Oh wait. Yay, I've done it. Nice. Okay. Oh, is that a seal? Long and buckler. Yeah, it is a seal. See if we can fast travel back. Yeah, we can. Okay, nice. And then we'll see if that sealed is actually anything good. Although I don't really use sealed, but whatever. Okay, we have two skill points first. Let's put them in. Melee and range. And then, where is that seal? Oh shit, that's a. No, it's not a big difference, but. I mean, it is better than the other ones. Yeah. The problem is, I don't use seals. If I put this there, I won't ever use it. I don't know. Okay, maybe I'll just keep it there and see if it will be useful in the future, I guess. So that's really the guy that wanted to kill Oswald. So let's go to the mission. Where is it? Uh, also, this thing I left, where is it? This one. I left it on purpose because it's basically the place we we need to put the swords we are getting from the Daughters of Lyrion. I put the, the two of them, but I have to kill the other one to finish this thing. So until we kill the third one, we can't do this one. Another king lost Abel. Stop washing your face with mead. How can I face half Don Yarl now? I fail him again. We 
can take the battle to what remains of Ruud's clan, before they hit back. Easier said than done. His men are holed up in Borg Castle, a fortress on the sea. On the sea? Then it must have a harbor. It does. Guarded by a gate of hefty iron held in place by timber spikes, difficult to force open. Timber burns. It does. But how do we reach it? We rig your ship with oil at her front, and sail it ablaze at the gate. They would see us coming, long before we reached the walls. We raise a beard, an army of East Anglia's farmers. Throw them at the front gate as a distraction. <laughs> Saxons willing to die for a bunch of Danes? It's a stretch. It can work, Finir. If they fight in Oswald's name, that is all the courage they will need. <laughs> you there! Did you hear of Thane Oswald's fate? Aye, we did. He dragged Ruid to the bowels of Elba, Dane devil. Ruid may be gone, but his clan still plagues East Anglia. And would you join us to rid your kingdom of his dogs? For Oswald? Aye, anything. Two eager Saxons is not yet defeated. But you may be right. We may have a chance. I can ride to Elmenham and muster what remains of Oswald's men there. But who else would join us? The Reeve of Thaithford, Winston. He's a bitter old barnacle, but he would fight to the death for this land. We can assemble a forward camp at the ruins north of Boer Castle. Ride with me, Finir. Let's pay this Reeve a visit. With any hope, Thaithford remains untouched by Ruid's violence. Hope is a scarce word in this kingdom. Maybe so. But I would rather hold on to something, anything, than ride with empty hands. If Ruid's clan continues to roam this kingdom unchecked, the people of East Anglia will be as ravaged as these lands. And where do we find ourselves? Riding into the fence to beg a horde of frightened farmers for aid? To fight for a king that you gave them, Filia. Remember that. It was my task to find them a king, not protect that king against every danger that might befall him. Oswald wasn't crowned yet, nor was he married. I say you have some work yet to do. Right, right. No need to remind me how far I fell short. Watch your back. Ruud's clan may still be nearby. <laughs> what did you expect, brother? Just ahead. Wood smoke and ash. Ruid's men have been here. Everything is gone, Reed. Everything. Ah, uh, my friend, we will rebel. I promise you. Not a win of iron coming here, knowing your kind did all this. Ruid's clan is your enemy, not me. I come on behalf of the late Oswald of Elmenham. You're still a Dane from top to two. It's your meddling that led to Oswald's death. Even our kingdom for the worse. Oswald was a friend and an ally, Reeve. He fought beside me, and I by him. And look where that got him. East Anglia will fall if Ruid's clan is not defeated. Fight with me to drive them off for Oswald and your kinsmen. Pretty words, Dane. But the men of Theovard have their own battles to fight. If you need an axe, I'm standing right here. There's a village to the east, Kingsbury. It was taken by Ruid's men a fortnight ago. And I'll not rest until it's back in our hands. Let me and my raiders take the village. Save your strength, and join us for the fight to come. A bold offer. If you do as you promise, the pikes at Theavard will be yours. I will take this news to our forward camp, Eivor. Follow when you can. I will see you there. Kingsbury's church has a great horn atop its steeple. If you manage the task, blew it. I'll know you kept your word. I ain't got the strength no more. Stand tall. Oh, wait. <laughs> so we got ourselves a deal? A word, if you will. Have you seen that? Your mother? When was lost, you saw her. Before the bad men came. 
Okay. It's not far. I think it's that place right there. Yeah. These barrels are nerve cracking. Kingsbury, infested with Rhodes men. This place is heavily guarded. Press this. You run like that.
Maybe this one. Okay, let me. Nice. What? What was that? Get a deep breath. That was a very bulky sound. Oh, look, that's the fortress we fought through, and it's on fire. Okay. So now we have to go. Oh, he's, he's here. Oh, he's. Okay. He's down there with his army. The Reeve has come to join me. Let's hope his promise holds. The horn! It's been so long since I've heard that sweet! I held to my oath, Reeve. I hope you will honor yours. My promise holds, I. The Ord will join you in the fight against Ruid's clan. With your aid, we may yet save East Anglia. In past times, that horn was used to muster fears all across our land. You may find others who have warmed to its call. Good. Whatever willing men you find, rally them soon at the ruins north of Burt Castle. Fieldward has answered the call. So now we are going... Here. Okay, let's fast travel. I think that's the last part of the mission. We basically, I think we will have to kill Ruid's men and that's it. came from Elmenham. Baldis must have got to them. The brothers' fleet, gathered and ready. Yeah. 
Can we really do this? We're just finally. We put my long ship to youth. Eivor! Word of your actions in Theobald. Men are pouring in from across East Anglia, and our ships stand ready. The Edward's Reeve is with us. His men will be here soon. More than his. The Kingsbury Horn has inspired men all across this kingdom. We will have the army we need. It seems Oswald got what he wanted in the end. Saxon and Dane united in common cause. A pity he is not here to see it. The forces will be ready soon. Are you ready to start the assault? Yeah, let's go. I am. Our target is Burg Castle, said to be impenetrable. Good. Let them have their false confidence. By cover of night, Baldus will lead the fear at the front gates. With Ruid's men distracted, our forces move on the sea gate from the backwaters at their backs. And once we're in, we'll leave no gate closed in that castle. Ruid's men cannot be allowed to dig in further. Your longship, is she ready? She awaits her own special glory. They need your words, Eivor. For a long time you lived in fear. Your house is razed, your fields scorched. Now your chance has come. Fight to be free of this pain. Fight to be free of fear. Freedom! 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 Now is the time. Today we rid East Anglia of Ruud's clan once and for all. Okay, guys, so I'm back in Ravensthorpe because my foot has got corrupt again. I'm so sorry. We, I finished uh, East Anglia arc. I'll tell you what happened. Basically, uh, King, the king was alive in the end and also Rude was alive and they fought uh, wait I have to I don't remember his name it was wait I have it yeah Oswald yeah they fought during his wedding actually and but uh, this time Oswald won and he didn't kill him he exiled him and it all ended good and we had a we completed the alliance with them so i will finish the video here i am back to grab the wolfka so glad to see you roland volker why all this eivor thank tear i heard shouting is something wrong Holger robbed me and i demand he be punished <laughs> rot disappointed word does the deer rub the stream when she takes a drink? Does a cow rub a field when he crops on sweet grass? Eivor, this matter requires sensitive judgment. Will you? Of course. From the beginning, please. Well now, there is no excuse too small, I see. Nothing to keep you from coveting that seat, is there? In Sigurd's absence, who has better claim to oversee these disputes? You might leave them to work it out for themselves, but that would mean... letting go, would it not? Please start again. Tell me all that has happened. I will start. I have been falsely accused by this Saxon Philistine. A filly, what? Are you mocking me? Silence, please. I will hear both of your complaints and render a decision, awarding compensation if needed. Understood? Okay, I wasn't expecting that, so let's hear them. Rowan, tell me your version of these events. Huh. As you are aware, Holger and I are neighbors. Near enough that I often catch him at my stables, stealing my tools. Borrowing. Holger, let him speak. 
stealing, borrowing. My point being, I have always allowed him to use whatever he pleased. I greatly admire your Norse generosity and had hoped to match it. But this morning, Holgir stretched the limits of my grace. Entering my stables for their feed, I found my most beautiful, gentle mare stripped of her tail. Bereft, not a strand in sight. I am ashamed to say my natural suspicion drew me to Holgir and how right I was. For when I peered across the lane, there he was, gripping a horsetail brush slathered with indigo, dragging it across a sheet of painting, Rohan. I was painting. You make it sound so crude. You see? Such willful arrogance. It will take ages for Ilgifu's tail to reach its former length. I demand compensation. I understand. Thank you, Rowan. Okay, let's hear the other guy. Holger, let me hear your sight. Eivor, you have known me as a skald for years. You have seen how my poems bring life and joy and wisdom to our people. And you know that my work requires a certain, let us say, freedom. To make use of rare resources to compose my verses. Often, when lacking the proper tools, I have made use of novel items. Alvis's walking stick, Tovi's inks, all were given gladly. You cut off my horse's tail to make a brush, you bleed- Rowan? As I was saying, this morning in the throes of poetic reverie, I realized that my latest piece required delicate brushwork. I could have used a frayed stick, some cloth, my hands, but no. I needed something gentler, softer, to make a perfect brush. I needed the fine hairs of a well-raised horse. And so I availed myself of a local resource. You clipped Alfgafu's tail to the rump without asking. It was early. I did not wish to wake you. Thank you, Holka. I believe I understand your position. I believe I have heard enough. If you will... My horse looks like a fool, Eivor. No handsomer than a donkey now. You must do something. Do not conflate hair with beauty, Rowan. She remains radiant. Elgifer's hair will grow back in no time. Quiet, both of you. Now listen. Okay, I think Rowan is right because he didn't ask him for the tail, so I'll go that way. Olga, Rowan is clearly in the right. You shared the tail from his horse without gaining permission. I borrowed the tail! Borrowed! Does the reality of regrowth not make this a victimless crime? It is a two-victim crime, Holger. Though they are unharmed, you took without asking, and that will not do. As the horse's value has diminished significantly, you will pay Rowan its market price. But the horse was not for sale! Rowan! Admit it! My decision is final, Holger. Pay what you owe, and meet tomorrow as friends. And if I do, may I keep the horse? Pay the man and be done with it. Rowan, does this satisfy you? It does. Thank you, Eivor. Good. Then by tears' blessing, let this matter rest. We're done here. Return to your homes in peace. Would you allow me to okay, I didn't expect it that. After all, in some ways you held in its creation. Absolutely not. Silver is the only color I wish to see. Okay, let's go speak to Rodri. Oh, hello, Eivor. Good day. That Holger, he is quite a character. I almost envy him. To see the world through such a muddy glass and live with such petty concerns. He hasn't a care in the world. Let's not walk too far with that idea. I need you right where you are. East Anglia is with us. Their King Oswald has pledged his loyalty to us. Eivor Kingmaker, we shall call you soon. Now we have three alliances. Some interesting news. King Chilvulva sent Chilbert to Shropshire. He hopes to install him as Elderman there. Good for Chilbert. He should do well, considering all he has learned from you. I gave him only a taste of my knowledge. The rest he will need to figure for himself. 
One more thing. I do not know if you heard, but Sven passed away a short time ago. The poor man slipped away in his bed. I had not heard, no. And how is Tovi? She must be gutted. It has been rough on her. She spends quite a lot of time at his burial mound. Speak with her, if you have the time. Okay, I don't know who these people are, but whatever. Wait, what's, what's that? I should go. Okay, we have this mission here, and then... Oh. Okay, whatever. Landry, are you well? You seem distant. I'm fine. Only a little tired, but well enough. Shall we look at the map? Not until you tell me what is wrong. Oh, I think I have. I feel somewhat trapped. In this room, in this settlement, in this life. I cannot help you with your life just now, but... I can get you out of this room. What do you say? I don't know. There is much work to be done. Stop. Forget about alliances and responsibility for just a few hours. We could take a ride to Grand Bridge or somewhere nearby for a change of pace. That sounds lovely. And too far to consider just now. But thank you, Eivor. Maybe another time. Now, what was it you needed? 